Yeah, one of the things I always get asked is, if this is so good, why isn't everybody doing it? Right. And there's a couple of reasons. Number one is just fear. You know, fear of the unknown. That's going to hold people back because they don't feel confident in moving forward with this type of system. I try and answer that in saying, this system has been functioning for thousands of years. You know, what we consider the conventional ag model now is really unconventional. You know, we had a healthy functioning soil ecosystem for thousands of years. So you have to have confidence in that. But um, the real thing that is a detriment to the adoption of regenerative ag is without a doubt in the United States here, the current farm program policy. Because farm program policies are set in that they want to grow monocultures, you know, which is totally antagonistic to a healthy soil ecosystem. And then, then because of crop insurance, et cetera, the producers are tied into that. And lots of times, you know, with the thin margins in conventional ag, they feel they can't give up that safety net. We've given up all those on our operation. We don't take part in any government programs now because it actually hinders the ability for us to advance our soil ecosystem. You know, I often get asked, how do you get started down this path? And what I tell people is, take however many acres will allow you to sleep at night. You know, don't let it bother you. So whether that be one acre or a whole quarter of land, 160, that's up to each individual producer. But take those acres and commit five years. No matter what, for five years, you're going to move down the regenerative path. You're going to, you're going to uh, quit tilling. You're going to have diversity of cash crops. You're going to have diversity of crops. And then hopefully you'll integrate livestock onto those. I have yet to have anybody go all five years and then go back to the way they were doing it. 